I recently completed a boutique hotel shoot in downtown Nashville, and I wanted to just show you a time lapse of the editing process and just talk a little bit about what I did for some of these shots. Now, this isn't a full shoot. Um, I, I think I've put out enough videos out there to where I show you my editing process to an extent. If you want to see any of these edits in detail, I'm happy to set something up if you join my open book club. Link is down below in the description. Um, but what I decided to do instead was create just a time lapse um, of this edit and just kind of make have a brief commentary as I let this play. Now, I did shoot about 41 shots during this um, during this photo shoot, but this time lapse is only going to show a, a portion of those. There's a lot that I did not include um, just because I forgot to hit record on some of them. <laughs> um, but this editing session probably lasted a good eight hours. Um, the shots here that we're going to play during the time lapse were all, this was about five hours of editing of that eight hour period. And I've shortened these all to about 25 seconds. So I'm going to give myself 25 seconds to talk through commentary on each of these photos. So it'll be a fun, interesting challenge. I haven't rehearsed this yet. So we'll, we'll uh, see how this goes. So, um, yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this first shoot, uh, this first set of shots, rather, is in the main restaurant area of this hotel, and that's primarily where my time was spent. In, this, in these shots, um, there's a few of them in a row, so I'm going to talk through what I had to do for each of these. First and foremost, there wasn't a lot of staging I had to do or could do because I was only given about three hours to shoot all this, so I couldn't use supplemental lighting. I just didn't have time to set it up. All I could really do was uh, shoot ambient, and I had to rely on moving furniture around so that it helped with my composition. So in all of these shots, just keep that in mind. That's all I did was uh, move furniture for the most part for each shot. Uh, I was using a Cam Ranger on a, connected to an iPad Pro, so I, I had uh, a lot of visibility. As you can see, all I'm doing is I'm bringing these into Photoshop, and I'm manually hand blending these and doing basic color correction removing color casts to my best uh, extent, doing some luminosity masking to control the tones and the windows, as you can see as, as I'm doing right there. I'm bringing in the uh, true color of the exterior and the brick that's on the other side. Uh, blacking out the TVs, obviously, adding a little bit of a gradient to those with some noise. And you'll also notice that on each of these photos, the Topaz AI um, Sharpen is pulling up for almost every shot. The reason I do that is because I'm shooting on a Canon, I'm sorry, a Sony a7R4, and um, I'm using a tilt shift lens on the majority of these shots, pretty much all of them. And there's bound to be some softness here and there because uh, you're, you're going through a converter and an adapter or whatever. Long story short, I like to have a sharpened layer that I can go through and mask in sharp parts or just keep the whole thing sharp uh, where, where need be. Sometimes it doesn't look that good on like wood grains, so I don't always keep it for every shot, but more or less you're going to see Topaz AI, that sharpen AI or whatever, I'm in the, the majority of the shots. Okay, so again, this is all in the same room, so I, I'm doing the same thing on every single shot. Um, removing people, removing distractions, trying to control the like five different light sources we have. And if you notice, I mean, look at the challenge of this is if you're a photographer watching this, I mean, look at what I'm dealing with here. I'm dealing with like warm decor and furniture and cool and dark um, walls and all things like that. This was a big challenge. I spent a good 20 minutes removing all these cables out here because it was a mess. <laughs> Bigfoot sighting is I was having a conversation with somebody on Bigfoot in Asheville and apparently in Asheville, North Carolina, there's uh, Bigfoot sightings and they have a Bigfoot festival. That's what that was all about. Forgot to take that out. Anyway, you can see here I'm doing a little bit of uh, color correction and uh, just controlling some of those tones. You may have also noticed that I pulled up Luminar AI, which is another uh, tool that I use for just some general finishing. On this photo, I could not get this guy to move his moped so or whatever that thing is, so I had to sample a photo I took earlier and put in that little portion of the brick wall over that because I just couldn't get it out. Photoshopping the street up. Obviously, the street isn't part of the photo, but it does look messy, and you want the... Even if the exterior of the street isn't part of it, you, you, just want, you just want things to look clean, so I figured it wouldn't hurt to... Um, clean up the street. And I did that for all the exterior shots. Like I said, unfortunately, I don't have recordings of all the different things I did. 
uh, all the different all the shots that I did. So, um, but for the most part, that's this is. Now this was probably the most challenging room because there was no color in here except for yellow and brown, and it was very dark. And um, this was yeah again I didn't have any time to light this up. I only had an hour in this room and it wasn't staged properly as it was supposed to be. The people showed up an hour late to stage it and they only had an hour before a group was coming into this room, so they couldn't they couldn't stage it up. I had to. Um, oh, we're already past that. Anyway, it was a difficult shot. Then we've got the evening shots. This was a little more difficult because we're dealing with a lot of cars. Um, removing spots again from the road. Just distractions. Uh, one of the things that I did for these shots was I, I you know, I, I shot these a little early just because for the sake of time, and I had a open book club call coming up, so I didn't want to miss it. So I added uh, lighting inside of these windows and just toned it down a bit just to warm them up. Um, to make it feel a little more twilight. I did a sky replacement in the background um, just to make it seem about an hour or so later than it actually was. Um, it was really important that they had like a twilight looking shot, so that's it's all artificial. And then there were just some of these small vignette shots that they wanted, like this door isn't one that they were necessarily going to use. They did end up selecting this as one they were going to use, but um, I, I didn't have a lot of options here. Um, they just really wanted to show off this decor. And then the exterior, not a whole lot to do here, just some basic object removal. I had to correct the lines, sharpen things up, obviously. But this was uh, probably one of the easier shots I actually had to deal with. Not too much I had to clean up. And you don't want to take out all of the imperfections. I mean, part of the charm of this place was the imperfections, and I, I think that's kind of one of the themes they were, they were trying to leverage here. And this shot, I forgot to, I was, I meant to ask this person, but this is like a last minute shot I decided to get. Um, and I did not end up removing that person from the shot. So I ended up just cropping it in a little tighter for the final delivery. And that's it for this photo shoot. I, I tried to do my best to commentary, uh, have commentary on this thing, but I only gave myself 25 seconds per image. And again, I didn't rehearse it. So hopefully you found it helpful or insightful. Like I said, this wasn't all the photos that I provided. But if you would like to see detailed uh, edits or, uh, you know, me talking through how I did some of these edits or if you would like to see them, please join my open book club. Um, it's, you know, it's a small fee each month, but check it out. If it's something you think you might be interested in, I'm happy to provide uh, any, any of these editing videos for you um, as part of that club. Uh, in the meantime, let me know what, let me know your thoughts were on this. This is a little different. Maybe I'll give myself some more time next time to offer better commentary. Like maybe I'll do a minute per image. But there's a lot of photos here, and this video is already long as it is. So um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.